everyone. Um, I have a an image that I had colored a while back. This cowgirl Marcy from La La Land Crafts, and I wanted to um, finally use her and make a card because I was in the mood, and my kids are all asleep, and it's lovely and wonderful and awesome. So uh, let me get started. I've decided to use this. Um, card base from Michael's The Recollections um, five and I think it's believe it's five and a half by five and a half corrugated um, cardboard. It's neat. I've never used it before. I like how it gives um, it um, projects a different texture. Um, let's see how this works for me though. I'm not used to creating um, square shaped cards. So I'm going to use this. I have pulled out two sheets of um, My Mind's I 6x6 cardstock out of my um, stash that I had from an old um, Tailored Expressions Key Ingredients Kit. This is the back side. I think it's from the Beloved or Beloved collection. Um, let me see. And let me just tell you as I go. So I'm going to trim down this this heart um, piece to since it's five and a half by five and a half. I think I'm going to trim it down to five by five. I don't have a plan for this card. Um, I just pulled out what I had in my stash and I'm just going to roll with it. So here is my 5.5 or my 5x5. Five five. Um, then I think what I'm going to do with this piece is. Actually, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. This is all going to be on the fly thinking. I think what I'm gonna do with this piece is just cut a strip that's about a, maybe an inch, two inches wide by five. Actually, how would that look? It went across by five and a half. Use this as like a little belly band for this. Um, next, I don't have very many embellishments for this, but I do have this piece of burlap that I was thinking about using on this card to give it a more vintagey, rustic feeling. Let's see what we can do with this. I kind of want it to show. And I do want to make sure that that works out that way. What if I did that? Oh, that kind of works too. Ha ha. Okay. So I'm going to use this across that strip. And I'm going to take my... I do have dedicated fabric scissors. Or at least dedicated ribbon scissors. I'm going to use my the Stuart scissors and just cut. It's not going to be perfect, but I am going to just trim off a piece. So this is that um, Maya Road burlap um, ribbon that I picked up at the scrap yard a few weeks ago. Alright, then I'm just going to distress the edges of my papers. So I had cut this um, Marcy from an, a Spellbinders um, Nestabilities die. I can't remember which one. I think it's maybe Nestabilities number two, labels number two. Um, I used the biggest die, and I'm not too thrilled with it because as you can see it cut off part of her hat and cut off her boots, but we make do with what we have, right? That is the motto around here. So, um... I'm kind of disappointed that it, it cut it off, but you know, do what you gotta do. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me if I sound super tired today. Like I said yesterday, my daughter's sick, um, and we're babysitting my um, parents' um, dog, and he is not used to living here, so. 
he wakes up a lot and cries. So not only do I have three kids to take care of and my husband works nights, but I have a dog to take care of too. So that's something added to the mix. I cut out this um, little piece from a labels, I think it's a ticket label tab, or ticket tab die from MFT. Um, I'm going to use this, let me ink it first, but I'm going to use it for my sentiment, which I will show you guys in just one second. And... So I have this um, Pure Innocence Cowgirl that I got from MFT. I'm going to use this Howdy Friend um, sentiment. And my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Actually, no, I'm not going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm going to use... Mento Rich Cocoa instead. I'll just keep it with the browns. Next, I'm going to adhere most of this down already. Here my camera. I'm going to try to keep in frame. That's my problem is that I can't keep it in frame. So I've got my ATG. And I'm just going to adhere it down. And I'm going to take this um, burlap and adhere it down with some... Where is my glue? I don't know. Forgive me, I can't. I'm in a new craft space. I'm in my new craft space, and I don't remember where I put everything. Okay, for now, I'm going to use these craft glue dots. I picked these up from Costco, believe it or not. A few weeks ago, they had like humongous packs of um, glue dots. I wish it was just all mini, though, because that's my favorite one to use. I'm not a fan of um, the regular. But the craft one seems to be, this is my first time using the craft one, but the craft one seems to be using, uh, working pretty well. Um, I'm just going to tear this down right here. I'm going to take my image and just, I think I'm just going to off-center it. Actually, maybe I'll center it with some pop dots. These pop dots I've had for like years. It, you know... I'm at, because of I have to move my scrap room into a smaller scrap space, I have to really get rid of a lot of stuff. And in doing so, I come across a lot of old stuff that can be used, including these pop dots. They still stick, even though they're many, many years old. I don't... It's, I don't know how long these are. These are really old. They work, they're really thick. I don't even know, they're like one eighth of an inch, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, remove all 
the backings. I'm used to having the garbage on my right side, and I don't have it on my right side. It's on my left and under the table, so I'm not used to that. So that is, I believe that's where I want her. And I'm going to adhere this howdy friend to the back. Usually I like adhering it somewhere else, but I think in this case, the back of um, my card front is best, I believe. I think it should go right about here. Now, I think this card needs something else. What do you think? I think I'm going to put couple of blue brads in the corners. And these are from Stampin' Up. I like Stampin' Up stuff because they're all so color coordinated. I'm going to get my brad setter. And I believe I'll put three in the bottom corner. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't need one of those fancy schmancy um, setter guides or whatever. I have one. I don't know where it is, but I do have one. And flip this over and set. Oh, this is loose. Set my brad backs. I had to take off my nail polish. It was getting chipped and annoying, but I'm not a nail polish person, let me just tell you. It takes too long. I wash my hands too much when I'm at work regularly, and but it is fun. I used to do it all the time when I was in college. And I think I'm going to put three brads in the top corner. Actually, I might put just two. So this little thing, I don't know if I've ever explained what this is. This is a little coaster I got in Hawaii a few years, like a long, over 10 years ago at the Polynesian Cultural Center. Um, I bought it knowing that I would use it as a pokey thing because basically it's the same as, um, it's the same as what mouse pads are made of. It's, and it's cloth, and it's Hawaii, because I love Hawaii, and it's the mushy mouse pad material. So I um, bought it with that intention, and ever since I got it, every time I scrapbook with friends, who I haven't scrapbooked in a long time with anymore, or, ugh, my English is just all jacked up, but <laughs> I don't scrapbook with a lot of people anymore. It's, it's too hard, but anyway. Um, every time I scrapbook with them, they always ask me where I got that, um, little pad, and I think it's for, it's a coaster, and I think it's awesome, so, anyway, let me put this down, let's adhere it down to the front, this card actually took me longer than I thought it would, and I'm surprised, and I think I'll be done. super cute. So that is my um, card for today. This actually is helping me with my challenge of one, using my stash because these brads I've had for a while, the pop dots I've had for a long time. I I used the burlap trim that um, I just bought. This stamp is a, this is the first time I've colored the stamp even though it was a couple weeks ago. I did color her in 2013. Um, this, I've never used this sentiment. I have used this tab um, die 
so I can't count that, but yay for using up what I have, and I'm super excited. So that is my car for tonight, and I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!